Okay, we're going to do the famous alternator battery cable test. I know I got the cable off. I already tested just to be sure, but we're going to read the voltage of the battery. It's uh, currently a little low because I was just running off the battery. There's a better jump on that one. Not too bad. Should be a little higher, of course. So I'm going to reconnect the cable. Come start the vehicle. Vehicles running. Blah, blah, blah. There's the alternator. For the I already start taking bolts out. This meter right there. Now watch. I'm gonna take the cable off. First, we'll get a voltage reading. Voltage reading. Notice it's about the same on the battery. The output about the same on the meter. Both meter. You can see uh, 20 on the volts. So I'm gonna disconnect the cable now. I watch the car. The car should die. See that? It doesn't work on all vehicles, but that is a simple way to test your alternator. Then we probably got a, about a, another 10 millimeter right here. And the locking mechanism for the, the connector on the back. So I've already got another alternator. So we're looking for this right there and make sure it's the same four prongs, center piece in the middle. Basically the same layout, the bracket and everything. So you use the alternator off another Toyota. The client opted for a cheaper route, which is my suggestion. So now we're going to pop these off right here. Got a four wire. We're going to double check the prong before I do anything else. See that? Same prong. All set. Look at the connector. Make sure the connector is good. Not bad. No burnt marks. No melted areas. Nothing like that. For the most part, this thing is just a bad alternator and should be removed and replaced. Now, there is a, a, a belt tensioner pulley down there. You gotta have a special tool, one of them flat tools it looks like to get it out. So I will approach that when I can, but that's pretty simple cut and dry. Real easy to change.